Income Tax 2023-2024. Electing the Section 179 deduction. How do you elect the deduction? Get ready and some coffee because we're looking to get the tax man off our back with income tax. Preparation 2023-2024. Most of this information can be found in Publication 946, How to Depreciate Property, Section 179, Deduction, Special Depreciation Allowance, Makers, Listed Property, and More Tax Year 2023, which you can find on the IRS website at irs.gov, irs.gov. Looking at our income tax formula, remembering that the first half of the tax formula, basically an income statement, most income statements having income minus expense resulting in net income, here having income minus various deductions resulting in taxable income, sole proprietorship schedule C rolling into line one income of the formula, the schedule C itself basically being an income statement having business income minus business expenses, which could also be called business deductions resulting in in essence net business income which is what rolls from the schedule c to line one income of the four first a word from our sponsor yeah actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers they don't want to be seen with us but but that's okay whatever because our merchandise is is better than their stupid stuff anyways like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Formula, the formula outlining the calculation for the 1040 form, this being the first page of the form 1040, Schedule C ultimately rolling into line number eight. Additional income from Schedule 1. This is the Schedule 1. Additional income and adjustments to income part number one, Schedule C rolling into line three business income from the schedule c here is a schedule c profit or loss from business basically a p l profit and loss or income statement format income minus expenses we're focused down here on the expenses which usually has the most different types of categories within it some of those categories being more complex than others one of those complex categories being as we've seen in prior presentation depreciation where even if on a cash-based system, the IRS will typically require us to deviate from the cash-based system, putting the depreciable property on the books as an asset, which means it's kind of like a balance sheet account, but we don't have a balance sheet because all we have is the Schedule C, which is an income statement, but we could have another schedule, which is a depreciation schedule, tracking the balance sheet account of fixed assets and the related depreciation and accumulated depreciation allocating the expense over its useful life that being a normal accounting process for accrual accounting however for taxes they often add on changes to kind of like the normal accounting process such as being able to depreciate more upfront 